Tremendous field position for Jared Johnson and company. Well balanced Sam Houston State team. There's Jalen Overstreet, the slasher. He was splitting time earlier this year with Jeremiah Briscoe, but he's very dangerous with his feet. And it's Corey Avery, the running back now, that lines up to his left, a UT transfer. Design run from Johnson inside the five, and he lowers his shoulder before he's thrown back at about the formation. Jalen Overstreet running the option with Johnson. Overstreet has a path to the end zone, and a Bearcats touchdown. But the Bearcats from their own 25-yard line. And there's one of their seven touchdowns. He'll get him the ball often in this ball game. You, you, you stay right there, and I'll. He'll go to Jackson. Sure are. Michael Watanabe checks in, replacing him. Overstreet. Season, and also Jalen Overstreet a moment ago with the big touchdown. Got to look at the freshman Mitchell Watanabe filling in for Donald Jackson. Play fake, and this is where Johnson is dangerous. He just lets one fly as he sacks. Pressured Johnson on the previous play. There's a pitch. Onto the flat to yet one of three players that could be drafted in the NFL. And there may not be another team in the country at any level that has three defensive players drafted, as is expected from these Thunderbirds of Southern Utah. Big play here, though, third and six. Kowser got a great jump, and the pass was that been huge for the Bearcats. Setting up the first touchdown, leading to a two-point conversion. On his feet, Overstreet, and a cutback to the pylon. Has it been undefeated here, Bowers Stadium? Bob let snap. Defeated Central Arkansas in the final game of the regular season. Punched their ticket here to the postseason. Third and long, third and 15. And this one over the head of LaShawn's Lake Charles earlier this year. They had a 10-0 lead in that game. Maybe a possibility for a rematch. They have to get through this tough Southern Utah tally. Bearcats will go quickly. First down and more for Avery. And he won't go down. Until what, what it was, but he's walking off the field a little better. That's good. Sideline, he lines up to the right of Johnson. Here comes the rush. You talk about the turnovers that the th time of the year with the overlap of basketball beginning and football really jumping into the playoffs here at the FCS level. Your runner where Avery's more the downhill guy. Over straight again into the pile. A few more. 100 tackles on the season. The guy we haven't talked a lot about is Miles Kilver. It's true. Big play in space, a lot of... With Avery out, Frank got a chance to carry, may get another. The pitch, Frank down the boundary, and popped out hard by Matt. Right side. This is the 12th possession of this football game. We're still in the first quarter, third and short. And we'll see where the spot is. Play. Sam Houston State with the football leading by 10. Johnson will keep, still has a chance to pitch, but he'll be stood up at about the 20. Get it, get a really nice job with a one-on-one -on -one block on the defensive back. Johnson's gonna throw. Yedediah Lewis could not hold on. He had a first down. Ridgeway Frank makes a man miss in space. Great vision. Shift in the formation, a pistol look. Another shift, Johnson though, not under center. He's going to turn and run and fly for the Bearcats. What a movement. They'll run the option to the right. Ridgeway Frank with the bobble. And football, they do a great job of game tackling. Johnson over the middle. Pass was in. He could not hold on. Third and eight. Johnson looks to throw again. That one too tall out of the back. Receivers yeah. both in strength and numbers in the conference. Sam Houston State will pass or not today. One of nine, three yards through the air. Going to try to avoid the sack, but he really a guy who's almost the fourth string running back. Avery Overstreet, Donovan Williams left the team earlier this year. Tempo. 
when they pick up positive yards on first down. Frank again this time. There's Bulmer. His first carry today. We're going deep on the depth. First and goal now for the Bearcats. Bulmer will carry nearing the goal line, but drop shot. Johnson will keep. Johnson will be hit and drop. Eight, eight carries, 65 yards, and touchdown two weeks ago against Northwest State. It's his best as far as yards all season. Targeting Ladarius Brown on the boundary, and he's out of bounds. Can't panic. That's one of the signs of a champion. You've been there, done that, and you have a model for how to get there. But they're in for a fight right now against Southern Utah. Ladarius Brown, they fight. Yards very similar. Frank to the boundary. Try to get some rhythm for this offense with the Bearcats. Remus Bulmer. One of four guys to carry the football today, and he's going to be tackled at about football. Short passes are always easier. A little shoulder fake. Yeah. And the beats gives him a little rhythm. Now in a third down situation for, for the Bearcats, and they've had a lot of success putting pressure on Johnson. They must three. Of giving the football back, and it's knocked down by Needham. Really right. I mean, we remember seeing him being taped up a few, few moments ago. Over the middle, intended for Thomas. They may get the ball back with about a minute 45. Johnson needs a completion here. Trying to run on the move, and his pass, even this year. But their offense has just not been in rhythm. They'll try and get on track here. Good job on first. I think they brought in another quarterback also. Is that Briscoe? It's Briscoe. And his pass to Yedidiah Lewis. First and five. Briscoe throwing on the run. Three points. A team that averages over 540 yards of total offense really struggled, even though they put up about 301 so far. But on Jared Johnson like numbers. Frank again, and he's not going anywhere. Into the arms. Pass attempts this year. Here comes the rush, the strip sack again, the football's loose, and the Thunderbirds may have it. And Kidd remains in there, a five wide receiver formation. Yedidiah Lewis steps out of a tackle, and he's going to carry. But right now, I think if you're, if you're a Bearcat fan, you got to be very, very concerned. No points in those five drives, just the one field goal. Hands, great quickness. They've got to find a way to get the ball to him early and often, especially in open field like that. Remus Bulmer will carry for the first down, and that pile will. Now offensively. Couldn't agree more. The efficiency is something these Bearcats are looking for. And Bulmer thrown down rather rudely. They're That's a big number. <laughs> That's a lot of tackles. <laughs> Second and six, Briscoe. Looked like he wanted to go deep. Trying to keep this play alive, and he finds Ladarius Brown, and he backpedals near the sticks. Second and ten. Flea Flecker. Briscoe up top. And leads Brown too far. Inside play, makes the pass back Frank. And you keep your eye on Killebrew at the top of the screen. Does a nice job and stand with his receiver. Mark now at the 24. Bearcats need points. Delay draw to Frank. And he rumbled March for the Bearcats, and they don't care as long as it results in points. Jeremiah Briscoe, the backup quarterback in there, replacing Jared Johnson, who has been ineffective today. Rushes on. Briscoe trying to get out of it. He's going down. Power brings him down and puts him in another third down and long situation. The sophomore, the local product with that big tackle for a loss of third and 16, even after that 15-yard walk-off previously. Briscoe steps into a throw. Intercepted. Pick All making plays today. Coach Keeler said about P.J. Hall, he's one of the best players I've ever coached. Explosive. He's a sophomore. There's an explosive play. You name it, he's done it. Two blocks and an INT today. That pass was dangerous. Up this box, get these defenders out of the area with a pass. Like that. Spin move from Reeves. Man's been called. 
He'll carry again. Try to pick a hole off the right side of play clock winding. It's at seven. Ridgeway Frank lowers his shoulder. I don't know if he got that. He got it by much. Bearcats stay on the field. Now looking for a score. And that time they were rolling. But the offensive inefficiency, the inability to stop the big plays by Southern Utah finds him 13 down. 27 straight points by the Thunderbirds. Maybe an answer. Yet a die Lewis inside the five, inside the street. We have not seen him. Ridgeway Frank, the third string running back, has been carrying, and he will go right into the end zone for the Bearcat touchdown. He would be in trying to lead a comeback. One point up, 13. They've also been down by 13. He's going to go up top. Well thrown ball into. So the Bearcats on the march. They'll go back to the ground. Ridgeway Frank, the third string running back. Each team over 400 yards total offense. 39-33, Southern Utah the lead. But this is a huge play in what is probably two down territory for the Bearcats. Every game this season, Sam Houston State's had over 500 yards total offense. Here we go. Briscoe with the pitch. In quarter. Briscoe, 9 of 19, 109 yards through the air. And there's Ridgeway Frank. He's powered and seven. This is the 21st third down play of the game for Sam Houston State. They're looking big, looking for the big play. Today has been one of those days where you've had great defensive backs, but receivers have been better. Good Huge. Catch. Yeah, it was one of the big play guys. Thomas couldn't come up with a better play at a bigger time. Frank fighting forward in a game. Ridgeway Frank has a hole. If he can get outside, he will not be able to do so. Third. No good again. Again, this may have been the double block. Well, Killer Brew comes in, and we've talked about the versatility of some of these Southern. Last drive, they stalled and ended up having a field goal partially blocked. And Bris you talk about the experience of Sam Houston State playing in five consecutive FCS playoffs. Briscoe over the middle. His pass complete should be a first down and very ineffective today at the end of the second quarter. Johnson went three of 17 for 24 yards. Big running play from Remus Bulmer, the fourth. Getting goal from the five. Bulmer to about the two. Here's it for a bulk of this game since about the second quarter. Third and goal from the two. Bulmer. Fine, bulmer has been the guy to get you here. A reverse. And it's not going to work. Miles Killebrew. Yards all season has been called upon the duty at a 100-plus yard game. Going backwards here. Hit and dropped yeah, by Matt Holly. Bearcats approaching 25 third down conversions today. The quick pitch results in a first down. Yeah. Plays, big plays. You know, that you're, you're, you're chipping away two or three yards and you'll lose a yard. This is good. Bulmer tries to get to the boundary. Bulmer with a cutback. Killebrew. Second and ten. Briscoe being chased. Gets rid of that football. You just got to try to beat them with your strength, which would be your speed. And probably two down territory. You don't need all ten here. And that pass. Team lose. There have been big plays all around. It has been wildly entertaining today. Bulmer ran into a lot of white shirts. Her rear to in. Second and nine. Briscoe really not an option QB. They run it to the short side of the field where there's little room and Frank covered quickly. Come through them several times. No question. We need to find one here. Trips to the left. Quick pass. It was hot. It wins to both sides of the field. Fourth and seven, here we go, Briscoe. Incomplete. State in Lake Charles. Sam lost in Lake Charles earlier this year. They like a rematch, but they're trailing. Yedediah Lewis steps out of a tackle on his feet. Steps out of another tackle. Down the boundary. He's going to go. Bearcats left.